You know, DeMarco, before we preview the upcoming game Saturday against Grove City in our next video, a very somber way to begin with him tonight. Their game against Carnegie Mellon was canceled Saturday, and obviously the reason in the city of Pittsburgh was the tragic story from the Tree of Life Synagogue. That must have been very upsetting for you to witness that, that close, that close, that close. I mean, to me, I can't imagine what must have been going through your mind when you realized what was going on. It was surreal, and for our players, it was, uh, it was a life lesson that honestly, uh, that impacted them forever, more than any football game could. Uh, we had just arrived, in fact, as we were getting, you know, into, onto Carnegie Mellon University, into the place where the buses were, were to be parked, and, and for us to go into the locker room. Uh, I was telling you earlier, on Fifth Avenue in, in Oakland, I mean, the, the police, the first responders were just flying to the scene. And the synagogue uh, is just, it's less than two blocks from, from, the, from the field. And uh, when we got there, I get, you unpack, you go, you check the field out and everything. And I ran into Rich Lackner, their head football coach. And he goes, Gino, you, you, do you know what's going on? And <clears throat> I had just heard from one of our, our players or one of our coaches that there had been an active shooter, but it was some misinformation that it wasn't true. And then when I told that to Rich, he said, no, no, he goes, we, we got, it's real serious. It's a uh, synagogue that's right, right two blocks from here. The whole college, the whole university, I'm sorry, is on, camp, on lockdown. And uh, so we go back into the locker room, we just wait. And as this is going on, our guys are listening to this stuff on the, on the radio. And they're listening to it on TV, on their phones. Um, reports were coming from everything. I mean, you could hear sirens. You could hear the first responders. It was uh, it was really surreal. surreal. Right. It was surreal. Uh, yeah, and just to get to the point, we finally got the guys in the locker room, and we prayed. And you know, we prayed about the people that had were all, already lost their life. The people that were in in there. Uh, just for the whole situation and it was probably the most powerful thing that happened in that locker room uh, was a prayer and and having the guys together and, and right after that minute and after, when I walked out um, one of the things we prayed about was the fact man you know you guys know what's going on right now we may have to go out and play a football game and when uh, the athletic director and coach Lagner came down and I could see that we were not going to play it and Carnegie Mellon made the absolute right decision because uh, it was so tragic and you know so many people are no people that, that have gone and go to that synagogue and um, I will tell you this in, in closing about the whole thing for a lot of coaches including myself we look at the game in football or any sport, basketball coaches, um, that game is, it's kind of like life or death. You win, you survive. You lose, it's like a little piece of part, a part of you dies. And when encountered with something that truly, truly was life and death, it made me finally realize that football's a game. It's a vehicle to teach our kids about what they experienced in, in just a very unusual way on set last Saturday. Listen, I've covered many stories in my broadcast career, but this one has left me speechless, days removed, anguish, nervousness, rough nights trying to sleep and putting it out of my mind because so many of my friends and a lot of them from the Jewish community were directly affected and as I told Gino moments ago, and he was unaware of this, my friend Sandy Zell, who spent many days here with me at Reeves Field, helping me on the radio broadcast that we brought to this amazing campus 20 years ago, it was just a block from there and had friends there because I have been following what he has been posting on social media and there have been more tears shed than you can imagine. And my thoughts and prayers continue to go out to all of my friends in that wonderful community and that Incredible place of faith, some of the most incredible people I have ever met in my life, and they're truly the strongest people I have met in my life. Just know this, 
my heart has been beating right along with yours since this tragic event. We'll be right back.